Hi everyone. Today I will try to explain how we can install Dev C++ into your R uh, Windows based system. Actually, it's a very practical tool to be to uh, help us to learn how to program in C programming language and C++ programming language. So let's begin. Let's open your or our favorite browser. In here, I will use uh, Google Chrome. First of all, let's write down the C++ download. As you can see, there are lots of different alternatives to download in here. However, uh, I'm choosing uh, the download link under sourceforge.net. So let's see. As you can see, you should be careful about where you are downloading because there could be some unexpected inclusion such as uh, viruses, application viruses. So for this reason, again, you should be careful about where you are downloading it. I'm clicking the download. And because it is just a Windows-based system, actually no need to worry. And as you can see, it will tell us it will start in a very short way. And as you can see, it's already started. And at the end, uh, it will be downloaded. And during that, as application developers or candidate of the application developers, you may choose to use Windows C, uh, sorry, the C or C++ programming language as a beginning. Because when we look at the top 10 programming languages in 2021, uh, this is our current year, as you can see, it is still on the top five, as you can see. Uh, by the way, these are completely different programming languages, but um, if I have time, I will try to upload some programming language uh, uh, later videos that will try to explain its differences. So it's already downloaded. Let me click. It's asking that uh, whether you want to install uh, this unknown publisher application. Yes, I'm clicking yes. Inside of the day was plus actually it is included uh, the GCC, you know, C compiler. It's basically installed most of the Linux distributions. As you can see, I am clicking everything. Uh, no need to worry about that. And it will associate C and C++ files with this C++. But if you have other applications, it's already installed. You may choose to unclick it. And I'm clicking the install. And as you can see, it continue. It continues to install. It will take for a while. But based on your uh, based on your uh, computer, it will take more or less than this time. I'm clicking to finish. As you can see, it's already opened uh, because I have already installed previous version, and it is using my uh, pre-installed settings. And also, let me show you that how we are creating our first. Uh, C application. In here, I'm just clicking as a project. And uh, you should be careful about that. If you are, uh, you are, you want to write as a C project, don't choose the C++ project. There are some uh, differences and also similarities. But if you don't want to face problems, you should be careful about the click the C project. And I'm writing down the hello world app. I'm not clicking make default language because again, uh, as you will see for the later videos, uh, we could use the C++ project also. And uh, I will create another folder under my documents. Okay, C programming apps. And my project it will be stored as world hello world app dot dev. 
and now I'm saving inside of this folder. As you can see, there are some pre-included folders, uh, sorry, uh, libraries inside. Uh, don't worry, you actually, for our purposes, we don't require uh, standard library dot ash, and we don't require this part. But again, these are important important uh, <coughs> inclusions, and we may require to implement them later. So I will write down print hello world. This is the first world uh, that is used from the beginning of the programming languages. So you may say that it's a standard. And to be able to execute it, I will click compile and run. The compile means it will compile this application in an understandable format uh, for your based on your operating system and also based on your applications. So I will click uh, and it will run the application. And I'm just clicking the compile and run. And it will ask how you would like to uh, keep this file, the C file. I'm writing down the hello world. And I saved it. As you can see, we forgot to include this at the end of my uh, seventh line. In C programming language, I should not include uh, the end of the line operand in here. And again, I will compile and run again. And still, I am getting some uh, problems. Because under the C, we are using printf instead of print. So I am executing and compiling again. And as you can see at the end, I am getting the hello world again. So see you for uh, on our other videos.